What up, Mr. Phillips? You're live and direct here in McMinnville, Oregon. How you doing? Oh, what up? What up? Hey, today I'm going by Mr. E. That's what my students call me. Okay, we can, we can remember that. Yeah, Mr. E, what's up? What's up? What's up, Oregon? <laughs> I'm Mr. Harney, and this is a mixed group of kids. We got some eighth graders, some seventh graders, some teachers. I even got some family in the room. My sister cool. And my daughter are here, so we yes. got, we're just, just going to kick it and have some fun with you for a little while. Is that cool? Yes, Jared, your, your background is awesome. Completely oh, yeah. awesome. Yes. <laughs> recognize yes. that. I'm sure. um, well, you, you want to explain who you are and um, how this all came to be joining us today, you know? Yes, yeah, sure. So um, I'm Mr. E. My first name is Emmett. I'm Emmett Phillips. And I am an artist, an educator, and business owner here in Des Moines. Um, I'm 27 years old, guys, and I've I've um, worked with young people and taught and performed hip hop, poetry, and theater for about nine years now. And I love them all equally. I would never pick between any. I think I might like teaching art the best. It's almost better than performing, you know. But that's my passion. Um, here in Des Moines, I'm actually reporting live from the community center that I work with called Oak Ridge. And I wish I could have students in here with me today. So I apologize they couldn't be here. But um, here in Des Moines Public Schools, they opened up, they actually just this week opened back up public schools. So, the, you know, to, to a degree. So, so I have students that are in, that would be here that are in class, you know, that, that are in school right now. So I'm here today to, you know, learn about you guys. You know, I want to hear about Oregon. I want to hear about the student life, the community life. And I want to play some hip hop games. I would love to work on some type of, you know, some type of rap with you all. About 10 to 15 minutes or so. I was hoping that we could show the kids a little bit of your video that you made with, with your students. Yes. Because um, a, a lot of them haven't seen it. But some of them have because I made an assignment for them um, and they come up with some questions for you. So okay. can, I, can I share my screen and we can watch that? Share your screen and let's tune in. Let's do it. If you want to like kind of preempt this a little bit. What are we about to see? What is this going on here? Okay. Okay. So um, what you guys are going to see is my students and some community members that I work with. Um, we came together. Oh, man, I see it. It's beautiful. Okay, so we came together and um, a good buddy of mine um, came came to our program wanting us to make a song to be a part of, of an album, to be a part of like a citywide album. Okay, so the kids and I and my buddy DK, we, had, we came together and had to start thinking of ideas for a song. Like, what are we going to make a song about, right? We want to make a song that you know, that makes people feel good, makes people feel maybe, you know, empowered and feels and make them feel good about themselves and also say something that needs to be said, right? So um, I remember um, my buddy DK brought some beats. He brought some music and we all chose the beat together. The kids loved that beat. So if you guys like that beat, shout out to those kids. They, they, had, they had a good ear for that. And then I heard this, I heard some words start coming in, you know, like, my success is my protest. I'm like, you guys, you know, like you guys are so successful. And this was at a time when a lot of people in the world were doing a lot of protests. You know, um, a lot of stuff was actually going on in the world when we did this, okay? So the kids wanted to do a, a creative way to show that they can protest without, you know, even being in the streets. They can protest with their music. They can protest by being successful, doing good in school, being great children, helping others, right? So we came together and, and made this song with that. And we had a lot of fun shooting the video. The kids worked really, really hard. Um, and this, this is what came out of it. Awesome. Let's check it out, guys. All right. <laughs> Okay, real quick. This is you, yeah. right? In the hat. So this yes. is Mr. Guys, that, that's me in the hat and the bright red shirt. That's Mr. E. Okay. And and that scene is how they're like, like usually <laughs> before order is brought. Like, okay. So yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, I've been thinking 
hear a lot about this protest going on lately, all right? And I know y'all have a lot to say, and I wish I could be out there, but why do you guys think I can't do that? So even if you get to all right? So does anyone have any ideas about how we can express how we feel without putting y'all in harm's way? What? We need a song. A song? Okay. About what? Well, sis. Youth, youth, we the truth. Youth, youth, we the truth. My sex, my protest. Leave myself because I know best. But the old ribs, like, oh, yes, got some young students about to go next. We're locked in our Let's give it a clap, guys. That's that's amazing. There you are with your students. 
<laughs> that's to make you so proud. That's just amazing. Man, yeah. man. Uh, when, I, when I first saw that video, I got to give credit to my sister-in-law, Taylor Wade here. She showed it to me. She's like, isn't this great? And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get a hold of this guy. He's got <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Taylor. That, that was really cool. Really cool. Bringing that to light. Yeah. Well, I know that I have some students in the classroom that might need to get, get going because they're so okay. creative got a new plan, but my kids can stick around for a little bit longer because I know they have some questions or something like that, so there's some things like that. So uh, yes. we'll get to it because that sure can't okay. resolve. Yeah. Colin, has, Colin came up with his own question about that about the video. So I'm going to let Colin maybe ask his question. Colin, you remember what you were going to ask? I remember what I asked. So right, how hard was it to make the video? Mm. Colin, that's a that's a great question. Um. So okay, it, it was okay. Let me talk about the the most challenging thing. Okay, what made it hard was we we had a short amount of time to get the kids that organized. You guys saw the dance movements. They had to write and record those raps. They had to polish off the dance. I kind of had to be like a military drill sergeant on them. <laughs> Uh, like honestly, you know, to get them to that level in that in that short span of time. So those kids, um, a lot of them have worked with me for for like two years at least. So you know their confidence built up. So so they were already like comfortable with performing and stuff. But um, it was hard work to organize all of that. But I had help. You know, I had I had help from people in the community. So that made it a lot easier. And the kids really wanted to do it and really wanted to do it well. So that's that's what made it easier. But it was just a lot of organization to pull off, you know? Well, you did it well. And I really like, I mean, your your voice is great. You're a good rapper. But I really like the kids' vocals. Like, it's just, oh, yeah. they're so sweet. It blends well. And uh, all of them have great sound. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. Like, you know, half of, half of the battles is like, they're, they're a great bunch. They're a great bunch to work with, you know? So yeah, it was great. Crispin, great you got question. your question? Any Crispin, more? Got, yeah, we got Crispin up here. Kristen, where? Crispin. Crispin. Uh, oh, oh, Crispin. Okay, cool. Yeah. Do you have any questions about our community or state? Yes, yes. And Crispin, you can be the first to answer. Um, so my question, because I actually have never been to Oregon, but I actually want to go. I, I would love to go. I think um, my girlfriend and I would love to like experience. I, I've heard it's beautiful, but I want to hear from you. What, what do you enjoy about living in Oregon? What do you like about it? It's like very, I don't know how to say it. It's rainy and it looks, when the rain comes out, it looks a lot like rainbows in the sky or something. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. So you like yeah. the rainbows and the, and the rain and the, oh, wow. Beautiful. I'd like to hear from other people too. If anyone else wants to tell me what you guys like about living in Oregon or even what you like about living in your community, you know, I would love to hear more of that. See, Thanks, Crispin. I was going to see if Kaylee wanted to answer that. She's, she's got some good words usually. Kaylee, what do you think? Kaylee, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, Can you answer the question? What do you like about living yeah. in Oregon? Yes. Um, I like the snow. <laughs> <laughs> we get it once in a while, Mr. E, but it's a yes. big deal. Yeah. Is it like fresh? Like, does it smell like, y'all making it sound like a, a rainforest, like like a place where you can find lucky charms and stuff and rainbows and <laughs> pots of gold. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Kaylee, is there anything you like about your school community? Like, yeah. what do you like about school? I want to know what you think about that, Kaylee. What I like about school community? Yeah. Um, my friends and my teachers. I like it about school community. Yeah. Yes. Everybody, everybody's pretty good to you, right, Kaylee? Yeah. 
That's all right. Good. Yeah, Jared, you do seem like a pretty cool teacher. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. You know, you seem like a pretty cool teacher, you know. See what Robert thinks. Robert, what do you think? <laughs> I just talked to his mom yesterday. All right, Robert, what do you Ooh. think about what what do you like about your school community or Oregon? Um Robert. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'll have one. You don't like anything about it? Come on now. Or, or Robert, it, what do you do for fun? Play yeah, soccer. Yeah, what's one thing you do for fun? Mm. Talk to our friends. Wow. Okay. That makes a Robert. big difference. No, Mr. E, Robert wants to be a professional soccer player, and he, he could be someday. He's pretty good at soccer. Uh, you, got oh, wow. any advice? you got any advice for him? He wants to play on, I think, you want to play on the Timbers, Portland Timbers, Robert, or does it matter to you? Yeah, go to Brazil. He wants to go to Brazil and play. He can use a little uh, advice on how to get there, Mr. E, if you have any. Okay. All right. I actually do know some um, people that, that have made it to professional sports. And so I'll lean on what they've kind of taught me. I think that, Robert, how old are you? Can you tell me that, please? 13. You're 13. Okay, very cool. Okay, so I think, Robert, you should spend your, your time while you're young. You're only 13. That's great. All right. Um, learning everything you can about so about your sport. Learn everything you can about your sport. If you get on YouTube, watch videos of professional soccer players. Study it, learn it, spend time with it, and play it as much as you can. It sounds like your weather is pretty good in Oregon. So get outside when you can and start practicing, okay? And anything could happen for you. And if you love the sport, if you learn a lot about it, like if you keep learning about how it works and, and you know what they're doing, you may even get a job talking about it or make a YouTube channel talking about soccer and, sh and sharing your passion for soccer. So th there, there's a lot of things that you could do just by focusing on it and putting some good time in it, okay? And with that, Robert, you're set up for success, buddy. And yes. anytime, anytime you want to try to score on me and the goal when we get back in school, I'm here for you because you can probably do it pretty easily. <laughs> I'm too yes. short to jump across and block a shot, but we'll, we'll practice together, Robert. Yeah, you know, we, we talked to somebody the other day about this. If you need help with your goals, it's okay to ask, you know. Getting help is all right. Yes. So, um, all right, we got just a little tiny bit of time. We're actually over, but we're having fun with you. So Mr. Mr. Cochran, Xander, I got a question that we talked about earlier and I put it in the chat in case you forgot. And can you ask Mr. E this question, bud? What is the money like? Yes, okay. It's the money, Des Moines, right, Rob? Yeah. Uh, is that how you pronounce these, that? These people gave, gave our city some type of French name, Des <laughs> But yeah, so it's like, it's Des Moines, you know, Des Moines, Des Moines, okay? And what it's like right now is cold. It is cold, okay? Um, our winters are actually usually pretty pretty intense, you know? I don't know um, what winter is like in Oregon, but uh, winter affects like everybody's life. Like you got to plan for it. And it kind of, you know, it slows down the activity outside. And, and, you know, I like to do stuff outside. But in the spring and summertime, it actually is very beautiful. It, it's a really cool place. We have good parks. If you guys like to go to outdoor parks and stuff, we have plenty of those. We, we have, it's not a super big city. It's pretty like, you know, medium to smaller size. But you can have a lot of fun here if you like going outdoors. If you have good friends or a good partner, you can have a lot of fun here in Des Moines. But I have most of my fun doing like the work I do, like making music, doing plays, you know, creating stuff. So that's what I really do in Des Moines, you know. But yeah, it, it's a cool place. But don't come when it's this cold. 
it, it'll it'll change your experience. <laughs> wait till wait till like May or June is what yes. I remember. Oh yeah, gorgeous months, especially May. That's that's our birthday month right there. So yeah, May, yeah, May was always my favorite month for weather in Des Moines or Iowa, I guess. Uh, yeah, I just want I wanted to show the kids where you're at exactly. I think. You said you did a lot of work at Edmonds Elementary. Was that what we talked yeah. about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm right there. Like I'm literally like right a block away. Yeah. Right, we're just gonna, we're gonna take this little guy, if this works, I hope, and take a quick look at where. I don't know what the front door is at. I'm just gonna check the left side. We'll see. Yeah. Is there a front door on a rectangle? That's what it looks like. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. There we go. Yes. This look familiar, mystery? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, like I see. Mayor. Oh, okay, I see what side of you're on. Yeah, keep, keep turning that like towards the. Okay. Nice. Okay, looks like you're near this community center called the Wookie House. Like that that um that brick building we're looking at is a different community center. That's called the yeah that is the Wookie House. Yeah. So yeah. so that's that's kind of like Oak Ridge, you know, where kids do after school program stuff. And, and they play, there's a little park in the background. Yeah, this is the neighborhood. This is where you're at, what you're doing. Yeah. Cool. Well, I I was, um, I just have to show you, we're doing geography all of a sudden. Where cool. I was, where I had a house for um, a couple, well, seven years was over here. So I was really close to you where you're at in Drake Park neighborhood. Yeah. So that, that's where I was at, right there. So we were like yep. neighbors. <laughs> and the Drake Park is right here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the, that's the old house over there. Big one there. So, yeah, I'm glad that you're in the community uh, mystery and you're doing so many good things, um, you know, and helping the kids out and keeping them, keeping them on the right track. You know, we need a lot of that in the world. I appreciate it. We do. And, and we really need young people like your students to go out and do cooler stuff and keep good stuff happening all over Oregon. If you guys move to a different state, keep doing good wherever you're at. That's that's the coolest thing. Before we split, is there anything you would say to our kids about how they can be good stewards of their community or like how they can help their communities? There's some, some ideas you might have. Well, um, you guys showed me you can do one of the most important things, which is listening, you know, you guys had great listening skills. So that's something you can do to help people. Like in this world, um, a lot of people, everyone has so much to say and everyone's always moving so fast. Like sometimes it's hard to find people that will really listen to you and you can help people a lot just by being a good listener. So you guys have that down. Another thing is participating. Um, everyone who, who spoke on the video and even those of you that didn't, you know, that's totally fine. But in life, you can get a lot of success just by, you know, volunteering yourself and, you know, taking a little bit of a risk every now and then, you know, if you feel nervous about something and you still do it, you know, and it's a good thing, then, then you're going to keep getting more confident. You're going to get more and more, you know, outgoing, you know, and, and that'll help, that'll help your life so much. So guys, keep being outgoing, keep listening to each other, listen to good adults like your teacher, you know, um, listen to people that care about you and continue to express yourself too. You guys have cool stuff to say. You guys have intelligent, smart minds, share it, you know, share it with people and, and keep, keep doing what you guys are doing. You're on the right path. Awesome. Well, we would love, I think we're going to get back in school eventually. Yes. And we would love to write you a letter, maybe some pictures of our community, our school, and maybe we could be like some pen pals with some of your kids and sort of connect that way. Would that be all right? Yes. Yes. Um, and I want to throw it out there. If you guys ever want to like send letters that has some raps in it or some rhymes, me and my students would appreciate stuff like that too. So th that could be part of us talking back and forth. You know, we can share some, some rhymes too. So yeah, that'd be great. Hey, that's a deal, but we want the royalties for William and a billion, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, William's the next P. Diddy out here. <laughs> All right, Mr. Reed, we got to get we got to get to math class. We got some multiplication facts to cover today, so yes. um, 
we, we appreciate your time and your, your words and your, you know, your inspiration. It was wonderful. And I hope we see you again out here. Yes, no problem. Thank you.